Hello everyone, this is Robert again coming at you with another video. Well, today's video, I'll be showing you what I have in my proper bailout bag, which I'm using this now instead of my haversack. So, I'll angle the phone down and get started on the contents. Okay, the first thing I have, I have a 42 gallon contractor bag, which I have it laid down so cause the, gra the ground's a little bit wet because it was raining all day yesterday. Now on the outside of this, I had this tied up on the strap. It's my Shimandana. It's kind of like a Shamog, but it's a little bit, it's like one inch bigger than a Shamog. It's made in the USA, hand woven in the USA. And unlike a Shamog, I don't know if you can see, but there's all along the edge there's a hem. Now the only place you can get this is the Self Reliance Outfitters store. But of Dave Canterbury's outfitter store. So this is what I have on the outside. On this, in the pouch, I have the Pathfinder Canteen and the Nesting Cup and a black piece of cloth so I can put this right in here without getting all the inside of the cup all black after I put this in the fire. And that fits pretty, pretty good in here. Along with, I have this other old um, TV antenna for a fire bellow. Where I can blow into the fire if I need to get some air into it. Then I have this little piece of metal with some bent hooks on the end. When I put it in, in the holes of the Pathfinder cup for a bail handle, I can use this as a mini cook pot. I have a length of chain too, which I have, which I usually put inside the black, just in case I need to use a chain to make like a toggle inside the mug, I mean inside the water bottle, so I can lift it up off the fire. I have this paracord bracelet that I got from Justin Lunt that he made when he sent me the the K-Bar knife that I won. I have this big climbing carabiner, this locking carabiner, just to have on the outside of it, just get I need whatever. 
and my little spark that I got from Walmart a long time ago. Then in this side pouch, I have my soya squeeze. I kept it in this mesh, so when I use the soya squeeze, it'll be able to air out the inside a bit, so it won't get all, collect all water and stuff. I have this big tube, tubing, like this water tube. Well, it's like, well, this is from a fish tank. Well, this is for a fish tank. So, if I need to get water from far down and I can't reach it, I can always extend this out and collect water that way. Now, let's go on the outside of these. This one, I have the SOL survival blanket tarp. I got this from in New Hampshire last time I was here camping. And my little multi tool that I got from that was this was inside the that bag uh, that bag with the knife and everything I had the bag in here so I'll show it to you after I have this old compass with this orange lanyard for my late father-in-law compass works pretty good has a little magnifying glass over here too so I can start a fire with this if I need to when it's sunny out And this one, I have the SOL Bivy. This emergency Bivy. So I have that in here. And I also have the package that came in. <laughs> and I have a length of power cord so I can use with the survival blanket. Then in this pocket, in this pouch, had that emergency candle that Matt O'Dell sent me when he sent me all those fire starting stuff with that, also with that wooden hand defense weapon that he made. Then in here, I have My flint and steel kit that I got from Native Survival, the Native Survival store. And that's it for the outside pockets. <coughs> now for this back pocket, I have my um, Ranger Pace Beads. So I have connected to it so I can just have it hang out when I need, if I want to use it. I had this other, I had this little tube with a bunch of jute twine wrapped around. And I already have this charred so I can always practice on with my flint and steel to get this lit. So if I get it lit, like with a ember, then you put this inside a bird's nest, blow on it, and hopefully get the bird's nest started. I'll practice on this another day. Pair of leather work gloves. I have my tripod camp stool fabric so all I need to do is make legs for it and I also ha still have the power cord inside the pockets so I can tie the legs together 
I have a big gallon Ziploc bag. I have the cover for my my Pathfinder cup, so so I can get the water to boil faster. I have a 55 gallon um, drum liner. Now this is a two mil. The, the 42 gallon contractor bag is a three mil. So I have either one of these to make, um, fill it up with leaves so I can make a some kind of mattress so I can get myself up off the ground. Then along with conjunction of this survival blanket, I have this big six, five or six mil trash bag liner that I made my own grommets, homemade grommets to, so I can get, so I can use that as a super shelter if I need to. Then I have this, um, this webbing strap. And that's it for that one. Now inside here, I have the eight ounce, an eight ounce 10 from the Pathfinder Self-Reliance Outfitters store, which I'm looking to get some coffee beans in here so I can just carry some coffee beans around. I wanna get the full, the un, like unprocessed coffee beans so I can put them in here, so I can make some coffee and stuff. And again, since it's winter time, I have these reusable hand warmers. Now if you can see that little disc in there, you're gonna break that disc and then shake it, what is it? You can get to break the disc and it'll activate this. Then you just put it in your glove or something, it'll keep your hand warm. Then when you're ready, after you're after this is used up, you just throw this in boiling water. I put it away in my Pathfinder cup. You just, I think it's, um, when the heat runs out, warmer can be rejuvenated with boiling water. So, then after you rejuvenate this, and put it away, you can reuse it again. Now I have this bag. Which I have some coffee, ground coffee in. And I have some hot chocolate. I have these two little containers again with sugar. Then I have two, I have the coffee. I have four things of Vincent Folgers coffee. So in case I just wanna hurry up and have a coffee. Then all these are wild strawberry drink mixes. So you just after you, after I would filter water out of a stream or something and have it in the cup or in the water bottle, I just put some of these inside the water. I'll have strawberry flavored water.
and I had this Altoids tin. So I tried to char some cattail fluff. It tried a little bit, but the middle didn't get any, or didn't get enough. I can always try to use this to get a ember going with my flint and steel. So I have the, I have this other way of getting a fire going. I have a Ziploc bag of trail mix. The trail mix I always bring along with me. <coughs> I also have this survival oat bar that I made. Now I've made a bunch of these back in 2016, like December and November and December of 2016. I'll be making some more of these and Doing a video on how I made these then I'll test out this one hopefully it should be still good I have my couple pieces of fat wood I also have this piece of fat wood that I got from Matt Waddell that has tied with the jute twine I'm a phone charger, a portable phone charger. I'm a folding saw. I have a hank of rope. It's not paracord, but it's just regular braided rope. I have my pocket chainsaw. And this is where that compass came from. My gear to go. Now in this little pocket, I have hand sanitizer. Now, this is the hand sanitizer with a multi-tool sort of went or usually is this one has the compass then I have my mower knife my ferro rod I have this flashlight I forget the name of it but it has 300 lum lumens for the highest, then I think 175 for the lowest, then it has a strobe light. So, whoop. has the highest, lowest, and strobe light. Then the, the regular pouch, I have my sewing needle kit, all the different, like, three, four sides of the sewing needles, plus the two curved ones. Plus there's some thread in here too. I have this little metal kit with some band-aids and, and toilet paper. Plus I still have um, on my belt my other metal kit. I have, I still have this, all this, um, Gorilla tape. I have this little roll of electrical tape and chapstick. And that's it. That's all I have. That's all the stuff I have in my bailout bag. And there it is. My bailout bag is empty. Now I'm carrying this around instead of my haversack because my haversack was starting to wear out. So I fit quite a bit of stuff in this bailout bag. And these outside pouches 
I'm pretty good to put all my like my shelter stuff in here. Then this small pouch in the back, which I'm I'm planning on getting the Octurus survival tarp, which is a heavy duty tarp, which is like the the grabbers the grabber blankets, the space blankets that Walmart sells, but the Arcturus has heavier duty corners with the grommets and bigger grommets. So I want to get that one. Same price as the Walmart grabber blanket. So I'll get the Arcturus. Better made and same price. So when I get that, that's going in here too. Then I can also use this Use that with this plastic bag if I ever need to make a heavy duty super shelter. Well, this is it for, this is it for all the gear I carry for right now. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on my next video. This is Robert. Thank you for watching.